Hi, this is Mike Ruane from Revelation Software, and today we'd like to show you how to enable drag and drop inside of your Open Insight forms. Drag and drop is a new feature added to Open Insight 8.0, where it allows you to enable drag and drop capabilities for your applications. Now, as a default, the forms inside of Open Insight do not have the drag and drop turned on. We didn't want to roll that back and suddenly have everybody's existing applications that have been out there for 15 years suddenly supporting drag and drop. So what you have to do is turn it on manually yourself. Now what I have here, and this is just a small piece of a screenshot because of the resolution issues we have on YouTube, is a window that goes against one of our books tables, one of our sample tables. If I give this a test run, we'll see that I have a little bit of a record. I type in 123, I press enter, and it reads. And I have the title and the author and a checkout date and some comments. And if I highlight the text here inside of title, and I click on it, and I try to drag it, all I do is I get text selection sort of behavior. I really don't want that. What I want to be able to do is drag information from one field maybe into another. So I will uh, escape out of this form. I'll go back into design mode. And what I need to do is set the raw style bits for the control that I'm working on, or the control that I want to enable the drag and drop on. So the way to set the raw style bits is you highlight the control by clicking on it, like so, the title control is now in, uh, highlighted. I go to properties and I go down to raw style bits. Now I'm going to slide this back up into view on the screen. If we see the raw style bits, we'll see that we have window style bits, window style X bits, and presentation server style bits. Those are the ones that we're concerned with for drag and drop. And in fact, on the presentation server style bits, we just want these three right here one, two, three. If you look at the online help for drag and drop, you'll see that it actually shows you more specifically what those three mean, but that's the one we want. So we'll click on OK here right now. And sorry about that phone call. And we'll do the same thing down on comments. I'll click on it to highlight the control. Go to properties. Go to raw style bits. I'll drag it up into the screen so you guys can see it. Go one, two, three. Click on OK. If I give this a test run right now, and I call it the same record, number one, two, three. If I highlight the text in the title control, so I highlight that, I click on it now, and I start to move it, you'll see in fact that I have a do not enter sign, which means I can't do any drag and drop operations on that control. But when I get down to the comments field, you can see where the cursor is right there. I'll put the cursor at the end here, and I let go of it, and in fact, it copies that text there. So the drag and drop as a default copied it from here to there. I can highlight this text and do the reverse. I've highlighted, click, drag it up, and drop. So there you go. And that's just by using the mouse. If I use the control key as well, I do a copy. So I can highlight this. I'm pressing the control key. I drag it up to there. And you can see the little plus sign there. And I drop it. And it's still there. And it's there as well. So basically, the way to use drag and drop, or to enable drag and drop within your Open Insight forms, is you highlight the control, you go up to properties, you go to the raw style bits, and you set the first, these three here in the presentation server style bits. One, two, three. Okay, this works automatically for edit lines and edit boxes. When you're working with controls like bitmaps or OLA controls or hierarchical list boxes and things like that, it's slightly different, but this should get you most of the way there. One other utility I'd like to tell you about before we uh, end up this video is that inside of TCL uh, and it's going to be a little difficult to see here but inside of TCL underneath the assistant you'll see that we have a utility now it's called add DND and by clicking on that and clicking the OK button you'll actually get a utility and it's tough to see in this entire screen but it shows you the application that you're working on which windows what controls are in these windows and whether or not you'd like to enable, drag, or drop. Uh, and that is pretty much it for right now. Uh, we look forward to presenting the next set of videos to you the next time. And uh, we hope you enjoy the idea of Revelation providing these quick little demonstrations on YouTube. Thanks very much. Have a good day.